Do you need? Can you hear me? Hello, hello, can you hear me? Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you, Gloria? Fine, teacher. Um, a little uh, stressful. Why? But fine, yes. And why, why are you stressed? Uh, okay, uh, because uh, I have a, a hard day. Uh, because uh, I, I am doing home office, but in my house I am doing chores and I am cooking and wash the dishes, etc. You're doing multitasking. Exactly, teacher. Okay. Yeah, I, I know it's not easy. I, I recognize that. Uh, the ladies, they have more work than men. So. Yeah, I agree, teacher. Yeah. <laughs> yes, because I think uh, a, a, a woman uh, is a thing in different topics. Uh, it's only about uh, buy a groceries or for a specific topic. Right. Yeah. Do you have children, Gloria? Uh, so uh, he is uh, 14 years old. Okay. You only have one. Only one. All right. Happy <laughs> teacher. What is it? You have a five children, teacher. I have five children. Yes, three girls and two boys. Oh. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's very. Hard <laughs> for work for in, in all for aspects. Children, in I all think. aspects. Yes, yes. but yes. anyways, yes. someone has to do it. I believe. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, what's today's date? Okay. Uh, what's today's date, class? What is today? Okay, it's June 11th. Yes, June 11th. And today is our last class of the week. Um, just like any other class, we always start with a review about what we spoke about yesterday. Uh, do you remember what we mentioned yesterday? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Were you guys present yesterday? And um, imperatives. Uh, imperatives. What's an imperative? Anybody, what's the meaning of imperative? Yes? I, I have a question. Ask um, me. I didn't, just yesterday, I didn't present in the class. Okay, I but was not now present. Uh -huh. I, exactly. <laughs> but now, 
uh, I can't see the class in the YouTube channel. Right. Uh, um, I don't found the... Yes, I haven't watched it because yesterday when we were having the class, it was raining hard here in Lourdes. So I lost connection. So the class is divided in two parts and I expect to upload those two parts either uh, later on tonight or tomorrow, first day in the morning. Okay, teacher, thanks. Yes, good, that's a good question. Okay, um, what else? So, so what is an imperative? What's the meaning of an imperative? Be sure. Uh huh. So, when do you use imperatives? Be sure. Don't forget. Try on. Try to. Okay. So you are telling someone what to do. You know, but you use imperatives to sound more polite. So you say, try not to, uh, please remember, don't forget. So those are imperatives. And we use them usually when you are asking someone to do something. Yes. What else did we okay. mention? Yes. What else did we mention? And we mentioned about um, holidays. Right, holidays, holidays. If you compare the United States and El Salvador, we have many holidays in common, but they have some holidays that we don't celebrate here, and we have holidays that they don't celebrate uh, in the States. So we mentioned New Year's, Valentine's, Father's Day, Mother's Day, among others. Yes, holidays. Do you guys like holidays? Yeah, some of them. Some of them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, some holidays, they have more importance than others. Yep. Yes. All right, any questions or comments about yesterday? No? no. Can you guys hear me? Yes. 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 Okay, yes. any questions about yesterday? No. No? Yeah. Okay, so, uh, when we talk about future plans, what are the structures people usually use? How do you talk about future events or future plans? What are the structures that people uh, usually the use? Future plans, auxiliary yeah, wheel. Okay, auxiliary wheel is one. A complement. Uh, complement. Okay. What else, what other options do we have? A subject, verb to be, plus going to. Good. Will or going to. In a real life situation or conversation, you can use will, you can use going to, and your message is going to be clear. Just remember that, uh, Grammatically speaking, going to is for plans, and will is to talk about possibilities or when you made the decision at the time of speaking. You did not plan it. So grammatically speaking, there is a difference, but in reality, you can use whichever and you will be fine. Any other options to talk about future plans or events? No? No. Okay. <clears throat> so when is the emergency supposed to be over? The COVID-19. Yeah. 
it. No? When, when, when are we supposed to go back to normal? Peter is supposed to, we're going to, uh, we're normal life, I think it's 16 of this month. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, everything appears that it will be the, the 16, right? Because, uh, you know, the Congress and the President, you know, they don't have an agreement, so who knows? Who knows? Yeah. Okay. So um, I will ask you, I will put you to be uh, to work in pairs, and you will talk about um, the, the plans that you have for this weekend. Some of you guys are doing everything from your house. Some of you guys have to be physically in your office. Everybody's different. So it doesn't matter which condition you're in you will use future to talk about the plans you have for for this week. So I will, okay, let me see, where are you guys? Breakout rooms. All right, so I'm going to make five bears and you guys will talk about the plans you and your family have for this weekend. Is it clear? Yes. Yes. All right, here we go. Basketball. Okay. Or I going to study with my with my son. And you? Oh, uh, I don't know some movies and just that. I'm not a lot of to do to do here. Do you have weekend? Do Do you have to work on weekend? No, I I. Or, uh, I will do with my wife the shorts uh, in Saturday night uh, uh, Sunday night I will uh, uh, buy food by internet where do you buy the food? Where? Yeah, where? Um, or um, taqueria and pupuseria amena. Oh, okay. So it's going to be just dinner. 
Uh, can you repeat that, please? Uh, you were you were talking about Sunday dinner. Yes, Sunday dinner. All right. The pie and different uh, groceries, and I, I buy the food for the next day. Uh, I normally I buy for two weeks. Okay. Yes. Okay. And, and well, I I buy a. Sorry. I have not the specific. Okay, Brenda. Yes. You can see another another person in your room. No, sorry, because um, Me. I try. And, okay. Ah, <laughs> sorry, teacher. <laughs> yes, teacher. I want to try to explain something. Yes, and sir. As, as you can see, uh, I try to open two windows, two windows at the same time because uh, my computer camera doesn't work. That's the okay. reason I, I try to, to open two windows in my computer uh -huh. and my cell phone because I, I need to read uh, as, as clearly as possible uh, the, when you uh, uh, show us some information, right? Right, right. Yeah, that's, that's good because I have seen you uh, two times in the same session and it's good that you mention it. <laughs> yes, yes. And I was so, trying to, I was trying to clarify this situation. So I'm sorry if I, I, I caused any confusion. Why? No, no, no. Ricard, Ricardo calls me Patricia. Yes, that, the reason is because uh, it's <laughs> he changed that, my name. <laughs> yes, but I, I, I changed the, the screen in my cell phone. But however, in my computer, it's the same screen. Eh? That was I am seeing my teacher. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, sorry yeah. for the, Sorry for the little confusion, right? No, that, that, that's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, thanks. Okay. Are you guys talking or are you guys finished? Finished. You're finished. Okay, so let's go back to the main session. Yes. Okay. All right, um, any questions or comments about the plans you have for the weekend? No. No? Okay, so uh, we, we have a reading exercise. Uh, the reading is about wedding, about a couple getting married. Let me ask you, um, how do people usually get married in El Salvador? What is the tradition? Uh, uh, I think, uh, sir, I think uh, one, uh, one uh, tradition is the bridge uh, wearing a white dress. Okay. Okay, so the bride is wearing a white dress. Good. What about the groom? The man getting married. How is he dressed? With that tuxedo? Yeah, can be a tuxedo. It can be a suit, yes, but the two are um, usually elegant. What happens after the ceremony? Now, where do people get married in the Salvador? You go to the honeymoon. Uh huh. After the um, after the party. After the after party. party. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> So, 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 where does the marriage take place? Um, in a church. In a church. Very possible. At the beach. At the beach. Uh-huh. At the volcano. 
uh -huh. a volcano, it can be a reception center, it can be in your house, it can be anywhere um, for that event. Now, what happens after the event? After they said, do you accept Carlos as your husband? He said, yes. And then, do you accept Beatrice as your wife? And he says, yes. What happens after the ceremony? And the... they give a kiss. Okay, they kiss each other, right? And after they kiss each other? When the couple leave the shot, uh, they inviting the guests. What do you say? Yes. The uh -huh, throw the rice uh, to the couple. Okay, good. Yes, they throw rice. Why do they throw rice? Uh, the people think is about a good look. Exactly. Yeah, it's a, it's a cultural belief. Like, okay, like if you go to a, a wedding ceremony when they start leaving the church, you're supposed to throw them rice. Right, good. Um, and where are they going after the church? or the reception center, whatever they are. The picture. What is it? The couple go to the party. Okay, yeah, they go to a party, they go to a reception. Now, what happens in the reception? The couple dance. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, the and couple the dances. And the people give, uh, give, give uh, for the couple. Right. They give presents, they give envelopes, they give uh, cards, money. money. Right. They give presents. Right. The, people, uh, the couple uh, have uh, shirts. They have a? Shirts. Uh, what is that word? When you drink champagne. Uh, oh, yes. yeah, they toast, they cheer. Yes, they do it. Right. And then when the, when the reception is over, uh, what happens to the couple? They, they go to a special uh, honeymoon. Yes, they go to a high. All right. Any aspects that we may have missed about uh, a Salvadorian wedding? Wear Is something blue, teacher. Okay, you wear something blue. Yeah. Okay, why, why blue, Jennifer? I don't know, my grandma says that it, that gives give to the couple uh, good luck. So you, you can, you, you, you have to, must to. Okay. Wear something blue, yeah. All right. I think I was wearing a blue suit when I got married. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Any other aspects or beliefs that you would like to share with us? It's something borrowed too, teacher. <laughs> something borrowed? Yeah. Why? I don't know. My grandma says too that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, grandparents, they have a lot of stories. They have a lot of beliefs. And they say, do this. Don't do that. Wear this. It's true. Yeah. 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 All right. Anything else? Oh, Anybody? <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, Jennifer? So, you, you, you don't have to, to dress uh, per, uh, pearls. Okay. So the, because... no, no pearls. No, yeah, no pearls because that gives to the couple so much pain in the relationship. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Anybody else wants to share any other beliefs or superstitions? The groom don't have to see the 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 dress. Okay, exactly. The broom cannot see the dress. Exactly. It's not possible. Yes. Any other aspects you would like to mention? 
no. Okay, so let's do the, the reading. Let me see this here. Share screen. Share. Here we are. Okay, do you see the, the image? Mm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, what's the name of the of the of the conversation? Wedding day. Wedding day. day. Yes. How many of you are married here? I'm married. I'm married. Okay. So only three of us are married. I'm married too. Okay, so, all right, good. So I wedding day. Married. Oh, you were married. Okay. All right, so, so what, what is, uh, what do you see in this picture, in the first one, the one on top? Uh, see the picture? Yes. For the wedding day. Uh-huh, they're checking pictures of the wedding day, good. Where do you think they are? It's too late. In the living room? In the living room. Uh huh. Yep. Okay. Uh, any other comments about the picture? No? They are washing memories. Yeah, memories. That's, that's the whole purpose of having a picture. You know, like you see a picture after five years you took it, or after 10 years you took it, it brings you memories. Yes. Yeah. All right. So, um, so why do we have this picture here, the one at the bottom? Where do you a think Chinese the, wedding? Okay, a Chinese wedding. Okay. Good. Any other opinions about that picture? No. It's a different culture. Uh -huh. uh, about wedding. Yes. Uh, uh, we celebrate. Right, right. Okay. Um, so now that we have discussed the pictures, we're going to go into the conversation. We have Jill and we have Emiko. So I need two volunteers to read this conversation. Where is Jill? Jill? Two, two ladies. <laughs> it, it can be a uh, gentleman too, not necessarily the girls. Really? Okay, okay. me. Okay, me. so whoever said me, you're Jill, and then someone else, the one that came second will be Emiko. Okay. okay. All right, okay. one, two, three, go. Your wedding picture are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At the shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes uh, have the ceremony at the shrine. That's interesting. Where are a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But after work, we had a reception with family and friends. So what are receptionists like in Japan? There's a big dinner and after the food is served, the guests give a speech or, or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It, re it really is. And then before the guests leave, the bride uh, and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes, and the guests give money to the bride and groom. All right, good, thank you. Any questions there? I have one. Yes. What is the correct pronunciation of shrine? Shrine? Shrine. Shrine is good. Shrine, okay. Yes, shrine is good. Shrine. What is the meaning shrine? Okay, shrine, who can explain the word shrine? Shrine and... Anybody shrine? Is the same the the short? It's a 
Yeah, but the church, yeah, it's a church, but uh, the church, when you get married, there is a special place where the couple goes in the front. That particular space is the shrine, is the altar. Okay. Like a sanctuary? Like a? Sanctuary? Yeah, yeah, you can say that. I, I okay. think it depends on the uh, religion that you profess. Okay. No, the sanctuary. The roof is the roof is different, right? The roof. Yes. Uh, why is the roof different? Uh, I think that uh, like a hot, hot yeah. roof. Yeah. True. True. Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. Any other questions or comments about vocabulary? No? No, teacher. Okay, so I will assign you to work in pairs. You guys take turns reading. Remember, when you see a period, you stop. When you see a comma, you pause. If you see a question mark, your intonation is supposed to be of a question. If you see an exclamation mark, the same. Your intonation has to change. And that's exactly the function of having a, a, a punctuation in a language. So let me assign you again. So we have Brenda, Isaac, Gloria and three with Ricardo. All right, here we go. Okay. Write in the chat. Teacher, please send the picture in the chat. Yes, I, I completely forgot. Give me a second. Where are we? Where are we? I've been getting a lot of uh, WhatsApp messages. 8 to 9 p.m. 8 to 9 p.m. Right here. Oh, someone already sent the picture. So it's already there. Can you see it? Did you receive it? Yes. 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 All right, good. So start doing the reading. Okay. The, the, the picture. Uh, read the conversation. Ah uh, yeah, teacher, but I don't have the the image, so I can ask Gloria if she can send me. Okay, because if you give me your number, I can send it to you too. Where did I? Oh, okay. Go? Okay. Seven nine. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So seven nine. One five. One five. Uh, uh, wait a minute. <laughs> eight seven. Eight seven. Five nine. Five nine. So it's yeah. seven nine one five eighty seven fifty nine. Yeah, I think. Yeah. One five eighty seven fifty nine. Yeah, I think it's great. Okay, you think. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. All right, so I'll send it to you now. Me. You're not in the WhatsApp chat yet? No, teacher. I, I don't know why. <laughs> okay. 
Ok, uh, the email that uh, Inglés Corporativo sent you, uh, there is a link with, with uh, for different things, including uh, the WhatsApp chat. So when we finish the class, you might want to go and check your email and, and check the links that I'm telling you. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right, did you receive it? Yeah, right now I, I received it. All right, it. good. Thank Very you. good. All right. Are you doing the reading? Can you hear me, Rick? It sounds like fun. It really is. And then before the guests leave, they breathe in room. The guests get presents? Yes, and the guests give money to the bride and room. Okay, very good, my friend. <laughs> okay, I think we finish. All yes, right. We finish. Okay. Did you right. switch roles? Yeah, we we yes. need to throw. Yes. All right, good. It's really in then before the eat the bread and ground give the the present. The guests get present? Yes, and the guests give money money to bride and ground. Bride and ground, yes. All right. Did you switch roles already? Yes. 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 All right. So let's go back to the main session. Okay. All right. Are there any questions with the conversation? No, teacher. Okay. All right. So, um, Remember yesterday, our last activity, we were discussing a topic about technology, and I told you guys that we were going to finish it today. So that's exactly what we will do right now. Um, I will assign you again. I will try to change uh, partners so you speak with someone different. So uh, let's see this here. Let me resend the picture just in case you were absent yesterday. It's right there. So we're going to change. Gloria, Henry. Okay, here we go. 